New tonight, a Lamar fraternity is suspended following reports of hazing. Lamar says it first heard about trouble Friday and administrators placed Sigma Phi Epsilon on an inch from suspension. But the frat's national arm took it a step further, shutting down the chapter. 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman is live at Lamar to break down these allegations. A credible report of physical hazing. That's what led SIGIP's National Board of Directors to take immediate action and shut down Lamar's chapter here at the university. Now, according to a Lamar spokesperson, an investigation found there was enough evidence to temporarily suspend Sigma Pi Epsilon on Friday, January 17th. Later that day, SIGIP's national headquarters got word of the investigation and decided to immediately close SIGIP here at Lamar. Now, this all began last week when a student came to the Dean of Students and reported that they were hazed. The student, who is not being identified, is a member of the fraternity. Now, the details of the physical hazing haven't been released as Lamar University continues its investigation. Here's what Director of Public Affairs Shelley Vitanza told me when they were first made aware of these serious allegations. We heard about it from the student and they came to the uh, Dean of Students. Um, and so we immediately started an investigation. And uh, by Friday, we had determined that um, we had enough information that we needed to um, suspend, uh, do an interim suspension Sigma on Pi the chapter. The national chapter did comment on the situation, saying, quote, on January 17th, the fraternity received a credible report of physical hazing in the chapter at Lamar University. Out of concern for the safety and well-being of members, the fraternity's national board of directors took, a, took immediate action and disbanded the chapter. Now, Vitanza tells me all 24 members of Lamar's SIGA fraternity had their membership revoked. She says there are no criminal charges filed right now. Now, SIGA did not have any recent history of hazing, but I'm being told that there may be more than just one report out there. Now, again, Lamar University is continuing this investigation, and it is expected to take some time. Coming up at 10, hear more from Vitanza on what message this should send Lamar students and organizations. Live in Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News. Sounds good, Tyler, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on this fraternity controversy. Do you think this is symptomatic of a larger problem with hazing all across America's universities? You can vote right now on our 12 News Now app.